right, so hi everyone. Good evening. My name is Olo Atosin and I'm the founder of Omusponga Media. I am an author. I'm the coordinator of the media conference. I wear many sleeves. <laughs> I do a lot of things, but I do meaningful things. I do impactful things. I do things that are valuable. I teach, train, I consult. I'm a media entrepreneur. I've been in the business for 13 years, so I have vast knowledge of what I'm doing today. And um, in terms of the, the, looking at the topic we are treating this evening, which is you know teaching people how to earn money on social media, I've been in the game for years, so I know what it is. I know what it, what it takes. I know what you need to do, and I've, I have proven results for people who have been to my class, you know, over the years, and they are making six figures, you know, or some are also earning in dollars. So this can be you. You might just be doubting yourself. You might be thinking, can I? Can I not? But then again, you can. If everybody else can do it. You see, you see what I'm saying? You know, it's one thing to hype somebody. It's another thing for them to hype themselves. <laughs> so, Tosin, um, you know, the first question that I want to ask you, I want to know the story. You know, I know the story of the Olori Supergirl, and I, I want you to share the story, you know. I want to take it from the root to the brand, and then we get to the top of the tree today. Because a lot of young people, when they see folks who are successful, they just feel success landed on your laps. So I want you to share the Olu Supergirl journey. How did you get here? When did it start? Okay, so this started in 2010, February 8, 2010. And um, before then, I was in the 9 to 5 sector in the media industry also. I you know, worked with um, some media gurus in the industry. I worked, I worked as a journalist. I worked as a PR you know, consultant back then, before Olusparga became my focus in 2010. So when I started in 2010, it was just, you know, picking it up because that, that was when blogging was really popular. So, and I opened my blog on February 8th, 2010. That was the first, that was the day I opened my blog. And in, in two years, I rebranded, you know, from blogspot.com. You know, did like a personal branding, did business branding, struggling in the industry because there are a lot of comparison, even to date. And uh, what has really helped me is that regardless of the comparison and doubt, I've been able to stand strong, do my own thing in the whole industry, um, you know, stay, stay, stay afloat in terms of information. Um, it came with a lot of challenges and depression because with the comparison, it's with money. It's not even with who you know. It's, oh, this person has more money than you. Why are you charging I, this eye? This was is charging not so much like you. You know, it came with a lot of that. And people in the industry that would be doing that to us. So mm. I had to stand on my foot to say, no, stop tossing me around. It's enough. You know, you come here, you ask us for the rates. We tell you the rates. You go somewhere else, you hear the rates. It's higher than our rates. But you come back to tell us that our rates are, our rate is too high. So when I started doing my own research about other people's rates, I realized that we're even, doing, we're even doing lower than what we should be doing. And people will come to us and tell us that we're charging higher. So imagine what... I think that uh, network's thing. Um... Sorry, so in respect of that, I have to stand on my ground. You know, to make sure that I I they rebuild their business, not just the whole. I think um, okay, I think we have you back. So soon. the network is doing um cognomy. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Okay, um, so soon, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, it's the network. Okay, so um, some people are calling my number. I want to send them messages. I just want to go off and I'll join you because why you're on. Is that fine? Okay, that's so fine. Them know I'm busy. Yeah. So that's what is starting the time, the network. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's okay. fine. We'll okay. be here. Thank you, everyone, for, for joining. Uh, please be patient with us. Tosin has to go off like for a bit to, you know, handle something very quickly. So we can have a very beautiful session. Um, if you're just joining, the show is called, yeah, someone said Niger Factor. <laughs>
If you're just joining, the show is called Get Talking with Esther, hosted by Esther Ijeware herself. It's syndicated on my YouTube channel at Esther Ijeware 4. If you want to watch this live session after today, you can see it on my YouTube channel. It's Esther Ijeware 4. Today we're talking about how to earn money as an influencer. Tosin Ajibadi of Olori Supergirl will be telling us, you know, how to make money. As an influencer, how did she do it? You know, what are some of the challenges she faced on the way? And today's session is powered by Stylist Piazza. Stylist Piazza is a leading brand when it comes to connecting, you know, users to different lifestyle opportunities. And they are here like today as well. Please kindly follow them. I'm going to put it on the chat here. I've got got a gift, you know, courtesy of Stylist Piazza and Women of Rubies that I'll be giving out at the end of the session. So please um, stay tuned to the end. See, we have to send back live on the show. <laughs> Hi, Nikkei, how are you? I think that's Laguda, right? I know my people. <laughs> I, know, I know your handles sometimes. Thank you so much, sis. Thank you. So I'm, I'm really excited about this session. Like I said, I cannot wait to you know, know more about Tosin's journey, the Yuda Basi thing. I mean, it it blew up and people said, oh, she just started. I'm like, no, that young woman didn't just start. She has 13 years, you know, that she imputed into the game to make it worth it. Thank you, sis. I, I, I learned from everybody too. Thank you so much for joining and for your time. Um, I can't wait for us to connect back with Tosin. But in the meantime, I am enjoying Ebenezeri. <laughs> how are you, sis? How, how is life? Yes, today's session is powered by Silas Pihaza. Please follow them. Um, like I said, we've got a gift for you. Um, my VA is in the comments to you know, share whatever information you need um, regarding the session. Please just be patient with us yes yes so stylish yes thank you so much for joining stylish piazza i mean it's always good to partner with a you know remarkable brand to bring wonderful comments to you all and i'm really happy to be here today um of course to be learning from um an amazing woman who of course she and i has you know some very good history together so please be patient. In the meantime, please enjoy the music. <laughs> okay. okay, Tosin, thank you. Okay, amazing. Yes. We are happy to have you back. Thank you. <laughs> no Thank problem. You. I understand. It, it, yeah. It's part of the business. You know, it's part of what you were saying. You know, when you are hot, you are hot. <laughs> when you are in demand, it's the Holy Spirit working. So we understand. Yes. So please um, continue. You're wrapping up the story about your response and some of the yeah. challenges you faced on the journey. Please continue. Okay, so um, I was thinking about how it all started, you know, and uh, how we had to stand our, our, our foot on the ground. Why is because there are lots of comparison in the business. And in the early days, of course, it was it was it was hot. I mean, there was no Insta blog, there was no gossip meal or any other platform then. It was just hot, 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 and one needed to stand out. So what we did was we created other other products from the Lospagel platform, which is number one, which was the new media conference. You know, from the new media conference, we also created the school debates. From there, we also created other things in between. So, and um, I'm saying all of this not because I just want to talk about how good we are, but it's just to show you how how much um, fire we had to we had to go through a lot of fire, and we're not burnt still. Mm. We still had to go through all the challenges, and yet mm. we're standing. It's just by knowing who you are and what you really want. Like I said, it's not a hobby. A lot of people want to come into this business and they feel it's just, I want to do it because this platform is doing well. I want to just do it because that platform is doing well. I remember clearly, and even to date, when Big Brother started, it was us. It was with the Super Girl that started talking about Big Brother. Nobody was talking about Big Brother. But today, everybody's talking about Big Brother. 
And why is uh-huh. because they see what it is, they see the traction, they see a whole lot of things. But we were the ones that started, you know, talking about it. And in the sense that we were explaining to viewers that could not watch it on DSTV, uh-huh. you know, on our platform, and they could understand that we could come on the page, see what was going on, and that was how the whole thing caught fire. Uh-huh. And today, it's a global phenomenon. So, and I'm just saying this so that you. We lost you there. Okay. You have to keep going. We got amazing. Going. Yeah, going on. Mm-hmm. And 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 I, and I thank God for mm-hmm. the team that we also have today. People still think I'm to, I'm the one posting. I'm at the party enjoying myself. <laughs> While people this are is the Somebody was like, like, do you think, do you think we are horses? How can I be on my page? I was still telling the handler, the, you know, she posted something. Someone came to my DM and said, oh, Esther, that thing you posted. I said, me, do you know the time in Canada? <laughs> I'm not the one. So, I mean, and that's what, that's the importance of putting structure in place. You are at a party right now. Content is still blowing up on the page. We shows, I mean, the structure that you've put in place over the years. And that brings me to the next question. You know, you've shared a bit about how you started and when you started, you know, it was not the period where blogging was a thing in Nigeria. However, I know that, you know, for me, when people ask me, Esther, who do you look up to? I often tell them Oprah Winfrey is my strongest inspiration. So who are some of the women? Before we go into the nitty gritty of today's, um, you know, show, what the women who inspired you on your journey, you know, just either in the blogging space or other sectors, just few women that you just said, oh my God, I love how this person keeps going on. You know, I, I cannot afford to give up. All right. Thank you so much, Esther. I would like to say hello to Solum. I just saw Solum on the, on the call. Thank you so much for the comments. So for some of the women that inspired me, I would say number one is Tara. Tara Felagiotwe. And mm-hmm. I remember when I was really struggling with this media thing. Am I sure this media thing is my, my calling? Because I studied accounting in school, and I was supposed to be an accountant. But this media thing, I'm thinking, I didn't go to school for it. You know, and a lot of people won't believe that I didn't go to school for communications. You know, I had to just brush myself up with a certificate at the Panatlantic University in 2014. And that was, that was when I got a certificate from the school. So at the point, I was really disturbed. Like, am I really in the right path? So I went to meet, I reached out to um, someone who knows Tara. I met with Tara. And because Tara also was, she's also in a business that a, it's called a creative business, which has to do with makeup. And a lot of people, when you tell them you are doing makeup, they look at you like, okay, are you, are you in the right business? But Tara built a structure. Tara built, Tara, as at that time, had House of Tara in several places across Nigeria. So I reached out to her at that time and she was really, 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 you know, helpful with the advice, with the things I could get. Another person is not even a woman, Mr. Steve Babayko of Extreme, Extreme Ideas, Mr. Ayani Adekunle of The Night NG. You know, these people would Jude, Debola Williams, you know, because I remember when I went to meet Jude at Desta, then they still had a, a program and I went to meet Jude. I went to Desta to go and meet Jude. That was where he was at that time. And I need, because I needed help with what was going on with the business and everything. So I'm just sharing to, for you to understand that regardless of the gender, who do you, who do you look up to? Who do you run to for help? Who also answers you when you need help? That's another thing. So I'm grateful to, to these men and women who have, who have um, been of help to me in this, in this business, because it's, it's okay to have people you admire, but it's very good to have people who are, who are invested in you invested mm. in your business that's mm-hmm. that's another level of grace people mm. want to see that you succeed mm-hmm. they just want to see they just want to hear that you're okay they want to, more like, they want to know yes. what's going on are you what, what is your revenue okay. for 2021 mm-hmm. what is your revenue for 2022 are you making mm-hmm. progress mm-hmm. what are the things you need to do to earn more 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 um profit or make more revenue you know, Adora, mm-hmm. you know, Adora Umbelutu is also one person that I, I admire. I respect Adora. Yeah. Adora Umbelu, I respect her. You know, she's not just a genius. She's a creative. She's everything. I don't know how to explain it. But then again, Adora is also one person that I respect. 
in the whole industry. So there are a lot of people, like I said, men and women in, this, in the industry that I, I, you know, look up to. And I also respect their time. I respect their advice. Okay. I respect everything they give. Because these things, they are money. Abroad, to this consultation is money. You know, in Nigeria, what to one egg bone? Tell where egg bone your problem. They will tell you, they will introduce another egg bone that knows you, that will <laughs> help you solve the problem. You know? Mm. So I'm mm. grateful to them. I'm grateful yeah. to them. Yes. Thank you. One point that I'm going to take out from what you said is it is one thing to have people you admire. It's another thing to have people who are invested in you. Yes. And I hope somebody's going to take that home today. You look at your circle after this session. Write a list of the people in your circle. Write, uh, do you have people who are baggages? Are you the baggage? <laughs> are you the weight people need to lose in your circle? So thank exactly. you so much for sharing that. Um, very, very powerful you know, quotes there that you just shared. My next question to you, Tosin, is how do we monetize? our influence. That is the big elephant in the room today. Okay. That's why a lot awesome. of people join today. How do we monetize our influence? Awesome. So monetizing your influence, number one, starts with what you love to do. A lot of people have turned not just their influence into money, they've also turned their knowledge to money. Mm -hmm. So for me, I've turned my knowledge and I've turned my influence into money. Mm -hmm. My influence pays my bills. My knowledge mm -hmm. also pays my bills. My knowledge in the sense that I'm teaching you what I know, you are paying me for my time. That's my knowledge you're paying for. My influence in the sense of I've built a platform that, that is respectable, it, it has integrity, it has value, it brings value to your brand, to the business. You can hold somebody accountable if something goes wrong. That's influence. The same brand that also influences people, not just by posting, but also by taking action in the sense that if there is... Um, and uh, if there is, if there is um, maybe something to be done, like remember that year we did save their business from mm -hmm. Twitter that they dropped mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. It was not our influence. It was our influence back then. Mm -hmm. But then again, we thank God for where we are today. All the lessons yes. we've learned, the experiences we've learned, also, mm -hmm. also helped us to you know, get to the next phase where we are today. Yes. So in, in terms of monetizing your influence, number one, you need to have a niche. Your mm. niche can be beauty, your niche can be travel, mm -hmm. it can be food, it can be event coverage, it can be anything you love to do. We just want to mm -hmm. explain the, the word love is because you need to love what you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you cannot copy the next person because she wants to make money. You will drown doing it. And you see where you try to be the next person and you are the one drowning. Ha. So you need to know the difference. So, I... so knowing your niche, <laughs> that's that's a very powerful different. point. It is <laughs> <laughs> knowing your niche and identifying mm -hmm. it is very important. Mm -hmm. How can you identify your niche? Number mm -hmm. one, write out the things that you love to do. Do you mm -hmm. love reading? Do you love um, criticizing maybe food or do you like doing reviews? Mm -hmm. I mean, Okoyami Farmer is a food influencer, is a food critic, a food critic. So you mm -hmm. go to your restaurant, eat the food, do his own critic, he, he pays his bills. He leaves, but now brands are engaging with him, you know, and he faces for a lot of people in the F and B industry. You know, um, Tayo, I know in the travel industry, Fusaya Fosudo in the tech industry. Imagine attending the mobile web, uh, mobile web uh, conference in, in Barcelona, Spain, sponsored by a company in Nigeria. Is that not your influence? Just recently, I don't want to go too far, just recently. A travel company engaged Priscilla Ojo and uh, Enyolua with uh, Dakore and Odumala Odilade to do after all expense pay trip. I know, and they are still paid in between. That's their influence. Their influence got them to that level. So, my question mm -hmm. to you is what is your niche? What is that thing that keeps you going? If you love to mm -hmm. bake, if you love to teach, mm -hmm. if you love to sing, if mm -hmm. you love to do reviews, if you love to um say you know anything that just catches your interest and something you can always build upon in my own industry i don't see it in one place i'm sorry um for me personally i love self-development so i spend my money add end money i apply for conferences abroad i attend world conferences in my industry just so i'm updated with what is going on in the world so when you are in your business as an influencer invest in yourself a lot of people don't like to invest in themselves. You invest in everything you're doing. 
with everything that you see me wearing today and an investment too you know i'm at a, i'm at an event here in lagos packed with a lot of celebrities a lot of celebrities are here everyone you're following on instagram is here all the big, big brother people you're following on instagram they are here you understand mm. so i'm mm -hmm. just saying in, i don't want to divert from the question but mm -hmm. the essence of this is to make sure that you identify your influence your, your, your niche so that you can be a person of influence you can grow your own community mm -hmm. you know people grow communities you know yes um, Salem, Salem king you know does lots about storytelling and digital content creator creating and all of that and he has built a community tom frank item you know started with mm -hmm. video selling and all of that and today is a <laughs> do you know how much tom is charging <laughs> in millions guys for one video is charging in millions so start small is what i would say don't buy followers yeah don't try to buy followers build that community to take time it took us time to get to where we are today mm -hmm. we didn't just start with 100k followers and we are, everybody knows the name no we start with zero followers on all platforms and people say oh, is it okay to buy followers don't buy because they will not engage when these clients start coming and clients will also ask you for your insights mm -hmm. they'll ask you for the numbers they'll ask you for the engagement they'll ask you questions mm -hmm. so please make sure what you're doing is being truthful and give value back to your community when you start mm -hmm. Amazing. That's, you know, a very, very important point that you made there, giving value back to the community, paying it forward. So my next question to you would be brand partnerships, you know, influencers and brand partnerships. There's a young person who perhaps is watching right now and is saying, oh my God, I've been in this influencing business. Nobody has approached me for brand partnership. What are some insights you can share, in, you know, for that? What can that kind of person do to get such brand partnerships so what i would say is make friends in the industry no man is an island you know start with look for people that you can vibe with i'm using the word vibe so that it sound, sounds trendy but the word vibe i'm saying again is that you have to network with people so you don't see you don't believe that a brand will just walk up to you because you are all by yourself so you have to introduce you to that brand or that agency all influencers will not take all the jobs. All influencers cannot do the job. Just recently, I, re I rejected a job for a hotel. I rejected it. I'm like, I'm not interested. If it's not bringing me money, I'm not doing. So imagine if I, for the people that are in my circle, they also, they also call for the same job. So imagine I, I know someone that needs that same job. I can refer that person to the client and vouch for that person to say, do you know what? This person will deliver just like the way you mm -hmm. want me to deliver. So you need people mm -hmm. that can vouch for you in the influencer industry. You know, you need people that can tell, that can speak on your behalf. I'll take it a little bit scriptural. You know, when you pray, you pray that you stand before kings and not mean men. But who are the decision makers? When you tell God, God, please, whoever is making those decisions, let it favor me. The, the, the decision makers are you, they are you and myself. I mean, they are you, you that are watching and myself. You are a decision maker, I'm a decision maker. So who are you vouching for? Are you vouching mm -hmm. for me? Can I vouch for you? So you need to mm -hmm. be able to build relationships. When I, and, I, and I did a video recently. Please check my reels. I did a video recently on building relationships. It's not by farming people. It's by building relationships. Spend time with them. Check on them. See, how are you doing? Are you sure? Are you okay? I've not seen you online for 24 hours. Is everything fine? Check on people, guys. It's very important. You know, and, and I'm saying this not because I know it all, but I'm saying this from experience. Because at the point, I had me check on people, but now I'm like in your business. It's, it's not like I'm prognosing, but I'm, I will check on you to make sure that you're fine. But you need to build that relationship so that people can refer you. You can build that relationship so that you can also mention people when it just also falls onto your laps. So it is best that you build a relationship with a community that you can trust each other with. You know, trust mm -hmm. in the sense that you can, I can refer Esther to a client in Nigeria. Esther can refer me to a client in Canada or more international. It, that is what I mean by building that relationship. Yeah. Because yes. people that and I, and I make totally agree. Mm -hmm. they work in the agencies. The people that work in the agencies are in the comment section. <laughs> are you, are you, are we together? This is, this is, I'm trying to break it down. So that Preach. You Preach, please. 
people Go that on. are in the agencies, the mm -hmm. brand agencies, the media agencies, the creative mm -hmm. agencies mm -hmm. are in the comment section. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. you see them on Insta blog, or Spider Bella, and I, they are all in the comment section. They are watching. They are watching. They are like, is like what's that bed that watches you without you doing it's watching you? Yes. Now or something. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's uh, it's an hour, and I I I had one of such experiences, you know, recently, where, and that's why I tell people don't look down people with small followers on on social media. Listen, people will make decisions that are the most humble on on social media. Sometimes they have to jump, and I also think a bit of that lesson that I learned it because um, I was somewhere recently, and somebody was saying that. Yeah, I mean, I was just myself, and the person said, "Oh." When we finish and I shared my contact, and we said, ah, you are Esther Ejere. And I'm like, I like to know people. Because if I come to you as who I am, sometimes you might pretend to be who you are not. So, but if I know you and then we connect outside of that space, it makes a lot of sense. The good thing is we've networked and we know each other. You know, so I want to ask you, you know, another question I want to ask you is for young people, and I'm really emphasizing on a lot of young people, and that is because you and I go way back. A lot of people want to become influencers. So how do you become an influencer? That's, that's the big question. Because a lot of, when I posted, you know, a flyer, I have loads of people on Facebook saying, so please, how can I become an influencer? You know, how can I become, how, or how did you also, Tosin, at what point did you realize, oh, I'm actually an influencer? So uh, if, I, if, I, if I mention some brands, I don't mm -hmm. think people will remember them anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Influencer for me started on Twitter. And my first job, my first paid job. Now, let me use the word paid. Paid was due day. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember due day. Due day was this platform where you can buy things as low as 1000 5000 or We were going to for due day. Mm -hmm. Back mm -hmm. then, 2009, 2010 mm -hmm. on Twitter. Mm -hmm. You know, and becoming an influencer, number one, each of, a lot of introverts are influencers. Eighty percent of influencers you see out there on social media, they are they are introverts, just like me. <laughs> you know, and we have to we we express ourselves without seeing people. You could be on social mm -hmm. media and be a storyteller. You could be on social mm -hmm. media and just talk about yourself, talk about something that mm -hmm. interests you. And you don't know who you are inspiring. You don't know who you are helping. Mm -hmm. Depending on the type of content, you are also dishing out. Yes. Not that all the content out there are good, but you also help with the content you also put out there. Yes. I know if people, if on no spot, there's a bad post, oh, Lori, this post is not good. They come to me. I have to talk to my people. You understand? So back then, it was Deal Day. Deal Day just launched the website. And our job on Twitter was just to talk about people coming to the website to shop as low as 5,000. You get spa deals for 10K. Spa deals for 10K for, for five minutes. Mm. It was mm. that deal. And we were paid. We were paid weekly, from weekly to monthly. And then from there, we got other jobs. Then I, I also influenced for Samsung, for Nigeria, for nine years. Every new phone that comes in, like every new phone that is out for the S series. I was one of the first set of people who would have the phone. New phones, or not Palace or anything. Before it gets to the market, and what was our job then? Our job was to use the phone, review the camera features, review everything on the phone, and influence people so that they can go buy, they can pre-order, and they buy, and it, of course, use the phone. And it worked mm -hmm. for me because I had people who would tell me, Tosi, when is the next one coming? People will call me, Tosi, now, where can I, where is the nearest samsung store and i will tell them where to go to on the island mm -hmm. so being an influencer is not a day it's not a it's not a, it's not an easy task i would like to you it takes mm. 10 people in one body to work you are the creative director you are the storyteller you are the copywriter you are the editor sub editor you are the graphic designer you are the video editor you are the caption you know it takes 10 people in one body which is why for the creative industry, you see a lot of people, you see a lot of complaints about people mm -hmm. from people talking about influencers not doing their job well. 
Mm. It's not because they didn't do their job, but it's just the pressure. Honestly, all these videos are on my page. I've, I've been talking about it. The pressure on influencers can be a lot on them, which is why I said a lot of influencers you see today, they are introverts. Go and check them very well. Go and if you see Salem in person, he's as quiet, he doesn't talk. But when you see Salem in front of the camera posting, that is who he is because social media allows you to express yourself. Yes. And that was what that was how it started for me. I was able to express my thoughts. Twitter then was how many characters? No picture, no link, nothing. You would talk, 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 no thread. But then we were able to do what we could do. We were able to yes. create a name, create a, name, create a uh -huh. brand from uh -huh. nothing. We created a brand from, I remember my first interview with Punch. You know, the headline was something, something, yahoo, yahoo. So, you know, and to the news, you know, it was something like that in that lane. You know, and it's, it's okay to see that new media has come to stay. For over 10 years right now, new media has come to stay. So for those who are out there asking the question, how can I be an influencer? What is that thing you are bringing to the table? What is that thing that is going to be different? Even if you're coming to mm -hmm. the food industry, you have Chef T, Kitchen Moose, you have If It's Kitchen, you have Sissy Yemi, you have Zelicious, you have uh, Je Sissy Jemima, you have a lot of people in the food industry. What are you bringing to that industry? That is different. That is different. Not to go and you have to bring something new. Picture. You have to be creative. Mm -hmm. You have to reach, you know, they say relearn with online. You have to be you like you have to release yourself so you can take in more. Yes. So people get stuck because they don't know who to talk to, they don't have who to talk to, they don't have anyone to share with. But then again, mm -hmm. they are doing so well. Please check on your mm. friends. Class. Go and write the names out. People that you've known for 10 years, where are they today? Mm. Ask yourself that question. A lot of them have moved into tech. Some have moved into other industries. Some are doing other things. Some are married. Some are not even in the business. I mean, a lot of us in the, in the blogging industry, I don't know where some of us are way back 10 years ago. So this no. job requires a lot. It's not just being the world influencer. But what can mm. you do to change your world? Mm. What we are doing our own job. What can you do to change your world? What can mm. you do that will change your world that will make a brand work with you? A lot of mm. brands they have their policies. They have, they know what they want. So mm -hmm. if you are saying this brand is not working with me, it's not because it don't want to work with you. Mm -hmm. Not everybody will work with you. You also cannot work yes. with all the brands. Yeah. But what are the brands? Yes. What type of brands do you align with? Yes. What type of brands do you see yourself working with? Yes. I mean, I've worked with Samsung for nine years, nine good years, nine interesting relationships. Regardless of that, we still work with Techno, we work with Nokia, you know, and and that's the relationship we've all built over the years. We have other, we have yeah. other brands that we've worked with over the years. You know, so I don't, I don't want to Thank go on and on. I mean, you, 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 sure you shared so much. We all know what we are but, doing when we say we want to be yes. influencers. Yes. Don't just want to do it because you see Olori Supergirl doing it. Um, I was telling somebody the other day that during the cook at home, I saw that a lot of people became um, influencers all of a sudden. And I've gone back to check a couple of those pages and then they're not there anymore. And I tell people, listen, if it is not you in you, you can't, you can't fit it. You cannot. And don't also forget years of experience. That comes to play too. People have paid their deals. And there's a stage you get to as an influencer where you've paid your deals. Your name is going to be top of mind awareness in rooms. Exactly. You know, you don't even need to go there and start advocating for yourself. People will just say, oh, we need this person. Call this person. We need that person. However, for you, who is trying to be the copycat? Like Tosin said, you might drown <laughs> because you are only doing it for the momentum, in the moment. So thank you so much, you know, for, for sharing that, Tosin. I really appreciate it. Now, a lot of, you know, influencers have leveraged social media, different platforms of social media to put themselves out there. Now there's TikTok, there is Twitter. You do more of the Instagram, right? So my question would be, if there's an influencer right now, you know, would you rather tell them you need to focus on one space or you need to thrive everywhere? You know, you need to be, you need to spread yourself thin because you can't be everywhere. I know, of course, we have these, you know, schedule posts and all that, but people also want to see the real time posts. So, what would you say to an influencer who is trying to figure out what social media platform works for them? I love this question. <laughs> I love the question, and the reason why I love it is because 
you have to you have to find yourself still so like i started from facebook if i go back to facebook i can't even fit in i can't esther is big on facebook oh guys esther is big on facebook she's big on, i can't even fit in you know if I, I i did a i did a post on facebook two days ago i said this is the day the lord has made i don't think he got 100 100 likes or 100 comments i can't fit in but if i put in this is the day the lord has made on instagram people you know throw in people would say something even twitter people would say something so my answer is test all the platforms test it go on linkedin go on youtube go on tiktok go on twitter go on facebook go on instagram go on snapchat i'm not on snapchat i'm not driving on snapchat you know test all the platforms then see what works for you in the next 90 days we say 90 days because that is where you can actually determine what works you know they say it takes 21 days to make one habit stick with you so we we'll save 90 days so that you can know what platform really works for you you put the same post across all platforms which one gets the most engagement you will see it okay. it's not it's not abracadabra you will see it yeah. if you post on yeah. facebook the same content you post on linkedin post it on youtube shorts or post it on youtube post because youtube has post too Mm -hmm. post it on tiktok post it on you know story post it everywhere and see the one that has more engagement yes they begin to build on that platform for instance fisaya fosudo is big on youtube he's almost 500,000 followers subscribers mm -hmm. CID mm -hmm. is almost 1 million subscribers on youtube but check them out on other platforms they are there but their main market is youtube youtube Focus on where you focus, focus on where you thrive. Where, like focus on it. Let me use music chants for instance. Mm -hmm. Um okay 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 and Simisala Agbebi is on is on YouTube. You know, there are people got to know them. You understand? If they drop a video today, it should get more engagement than any platform they post. So you just know the platform that works for you. Test it, but see what works for you. Then that way. You can now begin to build. You can begin to build. Try TikTok if you want. If you want. If you want to quickly blow. <laughs> mm. But if your content is good, TikTok is, mm. is a very good platform. When we started TikTok two years ago, it was zero. Now we are. I think that's the network. We do, we do Yes. Yes. You know. And we are we are getting our way up to five hundred thousand. You know, also to get to one million on TikTok. So if we if we still ignore TikTok, we don't know how good TikTok is for our, our business. We would not know today. Yes. So TikTok is also one of the yes. brands that we push to clients. We tell them our TikTok page. This is what it is. This is what we have, and all of that. So work on all the platforms, but stick to what the one that works for you. I've given you examples. The CNE is on YouTube. It's also on other platforms, but our YouTube is still our focus. Yes. 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 You understand? Thank you so much for sharing that. Mm -hmm. YouTube is still their focus. Mm -hmm. Twitter mm -hmm. is his focus. Mm -hmm. Yes. Twitter mm -hmm. is his focus. If they post on Instagram, it's like they're just dashing us picture. <laughs> but if they post on Twitter, they are blowing the world. They are impacting yes. people. They are influencing the people, you know, not just in Nigeria, but across the world. Yes. So know what works for you. Yes. Yes. So the BD, you know is youtube and facebook like i'm seeing i'm mentioning names to you because you need to know what works for you people now know what works for them they stick to it so that tash it is twitter that works for him you understand that instagram now you know everything so you need to know what works for you yeah. and focus yeah, and focus on on what works for you yeah. and i also want to say that don't build your brand one thing i always say on drama you know don't don't use drama to launch up, you know, because I know somebody might be listening now because Tosin said, give yourself 90 days. Then you want to go and start dragging people on Facebook or Twitter to get the traffic. Listen, the same way you came, that's the same way you're going to jump out because while you're going to get the traffic, you're going to get all of that. Truth is people won't take you seriously. And the real check you're supposed to get, nobody's going to offer you that check because they know 
you might turn around and drag them tomorrow. So I just really want to add that to what Tosin has said. So Tosin, before we go, um, another thing I want to ask you is pricing. You know, how do you know how to set your um, price tag? How do you know how to, you know, come up with that? At some point, you know, you've mentioned when people come to you and they ask you for, oh, what's the cost of the post on your platform? Then they go to other people and then they come back to say, oh my God, it's, it's cheaper. You know, the, theirs is cheaper. You know, you've got to do it. So at what point should one sit down and say, this is my worth. This is the amount that I should charge when folks ask for your price? So pricing is a very, is a very wide topic. Mm -hmm. very wide and i'm saying this because we can't we can't finish it even in the next 20 in the next two minutes so what mm -hmm. i would say is you you can you can know your numbers by a dashboard know your influence know your worth but you cannot be trying you will definitely not be trying the same amount that, that person is charging in in for that niche now when it comes to influencing there are different types of influencers there are different types of influencers we have the nano influencers, we have the micro influencers, we have the mid tier influencers, and also the celebrity influencers. Now, for someone who has 100,000 followers, can be charging 20,000 naira per post. Another person that has that same 100,000 followers is charging 1 million naira per post. And I'm not lying to you, it is what it is. So, which is why I said pricing is a wide, it's a very broad topic. Because if we get to dissect into it, I need to show, I need to tell you numbers. I need to tell you accounts. I need to tell you how it works. How are you going to even monetize those platforms? What are you doing to even monetize? Are you creating the content or are they giving you the content? Are you creating the caption or either are you going outside? So you need to charge according to the job you are doing. Mm -hmm. For instance, mm -hmm. if a client comes to you to say, we want you to talk about this new brand. It's, okay. a, it's a it's a toothpaste brand you want to use okay. it you need to do this they're giving you the brief now the brief is big you now have to look for a airbnb to use so that the, the bathroom can be finer in the video okay. you have to look for a video director that will help you or you buy a tripod that can you can do your video yourself that is if you can film by yourself so the pricing is a lot you have to put in a lot of charges in place imagine okay. you don't have to film I edit. You have to get someone to do that for you. That mm. one cost is maybe like 200k or 300k, depending on who you are even talking to. Now you want to rent Airbnb for the for the content. Airbnb is costing you about 60,000, 65,000 naira, depending on the location, because you want the battery to be. Free. Now you want to not talk about the outfit. Are you dressing up in a robe or are you dressing up in a? You see, I see the person is getting bigger. So the quality of your job also determines your the quality of your money you are charging. Mm -hmm. it I agree. So, yeah, it, so it, 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 it also guarantees that. So if you are going to do, if you want to do all of that scenario for the brand, go to use the Airbnb, use a nice bathroom, do the show yourself in the mirror, filming, using the paste, doing all the process, and then you are editing it, you are doing a voiceover. That's the process. So you're, what you are charging is the process. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a, lot. it's a lot. And let me just add that Tosin has uh, a class on seller on influencer marketing. Yeah. So if you want to know more about this, you know, you might want to go on Tosin's page, you know, check the link in our bio um, to register for the class. I think that would give you more insight that because like you sure. said, it's very broad um, and it's not something we can finish tonight. So I, I want to believe that those of you who join because you want to learn from Tosin, you might want to just follow Tosin to know more about that. And, you know, Tosin, another question that I want to ask you, and this is a bit um, of a recent situation, that's the Ilda Basi Kukaton, and the way your brand went all out. So the question is, at what point, you know, were you contacted? Because a lot of people, ask, they said I should ask you, were you contacted by Ilda's team to, um, <laughs> to, to publicize the Kukaton? Or was it just you using your knowledge of, okay, you have the insight, this is big deal. We need to tap into this like you did for Big Brother, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, answer, 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 with, answer with, in the diplomatic media way, any way you want to. You are my sister. <laughs> all right. But it's fine. And I, and I love the questions so far because it's more of knowledge. Like, I want mm -hmm. to know. Mm -hmm. 
Now, for the Ilda, for the Ilda question, mm -hmm. we were contacted by the team from mm -hmm. the inception. From the inception of, we have a press conference. We are Ilda. So even the first, even the first contact was a post. So they wanted they wanted us to publish um, the post on Ilda going on the cooker team. Mm -hmm. So we did that, and it was a paid post. Mm -hmm. Then afterwards. They sent us a mail saying that there's a press conference for the cooker team. It's starting May. So they reached out mm -hmm. to us. You know, they reached out to media houses. Mm -hmm. So we had the press conference. Mm -hmm. We had everything. We had mm -hmm. the brief. Because so I was asking mm -hmm. questions. Oh, we are going to send the staff. What would the person do? Who are they going to meet? So there was there was there was a process to it. Mm -hmm. And then when the day came, I it's Doma delegation. Oh yeah, go to this venue. Go and cover the event. So my staff was just doing a job. Mm. And the cooker team got the publicity nobody expected from Olo mm -hmm. Girl brand. Mm. And we are grateful to God to be that medium in the story and in the history, in the vision and the dream mm -hmm. of a young mm -hmm. Nigerian woman who has mm -hmm. taken it upon herself to break a record. You see, mm -hmm. When we when we are in our when we are living when we are in our reality or we are in our dreams or we are living our dream or our visions, we should also pray for people that are supposed to be part of that vision to be active in the spirit. Because there was a press conference, there was a media process, there was media accreditation for this event. It was an event. We did our own part by doing everything by attending, by going through the whole process, by confirming our, de our delegates from OSG Media, by making sure that our delegate was there to do a, a thing. And the whole world got to know about the cooker team from the Spargo page. And we are proud to say that we are honored to be part of this vision. Mm. Because right. everybody that I've, I've met afterwards Oh my God, I got somebody to cook on your page. On your page. Da, 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 on your page. And I'm like, I thank God for the team that we're on ground to do the job. Sis, <laughs> my staff was, she had her cramps when, while she was doing the job. Honestly. And the day she told me, I had to fill in because I was close by at that time. So I did a video at the venue that day. And that was where we got into the next morning. And that was how we got into like six hours into the night. And we got into mm -hmm. 100 hours. Mm. So a team that works with you, number one, but a vision that works needs, mm. needs, needs igniters, kingdom mm. visioners mm. that would also tap mm. into that dream for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is one thing to have a dream. It is another thing to have people to activate it at that point it is happening. Mm. And we are mm. grateful to God that our platform was the platform that actually pushed the world, pushed this vision for the world to see what a great woman mm -hmm. like Ilda Basi mm -hmm. did because she has done it and we are all proud mm -hmm. of her. Yes. We are proud of the achievement. Yes. And it's not, it's not an easy task at all. It's not. So the question, the answer to your question is that we were contacted from the, from the scratch. Thank you for the, the honesty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From the press conference. Other but because you did the, the job, was, you went above yeah, and beyond. Yeah. And that's doing the thing, the we bring value. We give, see, one of the things we tell our clients is, you know, give us the job. We'll give you value for your money. Yes. You know, bring the job to us. We will give you value. What you did ask for, we'll do it for you. Yes. As long as you are happy about it, as long as you see results. I mean, we did the Vicky James yesterday. Vicky I've been seeing told that on your me, I was page. screaming. I was screaming when I when I heard Vicky's voice. I was like, Vicky James, you know, I'm still packing money together to sell come and sell clothes with you. I'm still putting my money together so that you can sell one clothes for me. Vicky James called me on the phone and said she wants OSG Media to cover her birthday and a concert. She had the two you want, she had the she had the two, she had two events. She had one last week Saturday, she had one yesterday. I mean, on our page, you can see all the details are there. Mm -hmm. You know? So if 
if, like, like we, we are talking about, we are thinking about we are, what we are saying today is about influence with your job, mm -hmm. with the media, with everything you are doing. Mm -hmm. People are mm -hmm. seeing, people are watching it. Mm -hmm. So they will definitely come where they need your services. Yes. But the thing is, are you bringing value? Yes. What are you bringing to the table? Mm. See, mm. In, the, in the space of this past few months, do you know how many gadgets we bought? We have to improve on our gadgets. Investments. Like I was saying earlier, you know, you have to invest in yourself. Be it the yes. media person, a media guru, or an influencer, or a content creator, you need to invest in yourself. Don't look down on yourself. Don't say, I don't want to spend, spend the money on those equipment that will get you the jobs. Mm. If I tell you how much money just charges just for video alone, just for video alone, it's in millions. I know. It's in millions. 1.2 yeah. million era just for a 30 second video. And the investment is the gadgets. The time, see, that's why I say it's the time, in, 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 it's the time that you put into it that you charge for. Yes. If you are saying a post is 30,000 naira, well, it's because you're a piece of platform. I'm not saying to charge millions and chase people away. No. Bring the value first. See what it is. Then again, you scale up. See mm. what it is, you scale up. Mm. See, see what it is, you invest in yourself. Attend conferences. Mm. Attend summits. Mm. Go mm. for events. Mm -hmm. Next, next mm -hmm. walk. Don't just sit. I've, yeah. seen, I've seen a question on this live. I'm an introvert, don't be an influencer. You'll be a successful influencer if you do the job you need to do. Yeah. If you keep hiding yes. your wardrobe, nobody will co come for you. Yes. Jay on here you, is a you can be an influencer by mouth. Content mm. creator. Fantastic mm -hmm. creative content creator. I love Jay on here's yeah. content. It is yes. educative. It is it brings you back to reality. Mm -hmm. When I saw mm -hmm. Jay on air at Ida's Ida Bass's event, he was so shy. Jay on air is so shy in person. I said, Jesus, he's so shy. But then again, like I said, a lot of content creators and influencers you see today, they are introverts. So when they're in front of the camera doing everything they are doing, because that is how best they express themselves. Yes. So kudos to all the influencers who are making waves. Mm -hmm. you know, kudos to them who have built their brand. Okay. Five years ago, 10 years ago, we are still in the business. And those who are coming up, welcome to the business. But make sure that you mm -hmm. create an impact in the business. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. have to create an impact. You have to be, you have to take a, take a, a course yeah. that you have to shout about. Yes. Don't just Thank you so with your much. platform with your millions. Use mm -hmm. that millions to tell people that something is happening in Niger mm -hmm. that needs to be mm -hmm. looked into. Mm -hmm. Something is happening mm -hmm. in, in uh, Okokomaiko. Something mm -hmm. is happening in Otako. Something is happening mm -hmm. in Enugu. What is your influence going to do? Yeah. In 2016, yes. we broke a story. In 2016, mm. remember, we broke a story about mm -hmm. the school in Lagos. Yep. They attacked us. Yep. They attacked us because we said the truth. We broke the story. So those are the things you will go through. You go through danger because of mm. you doing your job as an influencer or speaking up for something that you know that is the truth. Yeah. So you have to be ready. You have to be ready. And, and I wish everyone working the best because once uh -huh. you bring in your own people will also warm up to you if you come today and say you want to do something and people see that value in you they'll warm up to you honestly nigerians can support you without even knowing you yeah this i have people send asking me to send my bank details send your bank i remember there when we do big brothers big brother sorry before they you know change all the rules uh -huh. send you your bank details we want to we want to bless you yeah <laughs> You want to bless me? Are you serious? That is because they felt the impact in Canada. They felt the mm. impact in the US. They are not mm. in Nigeria, but they feel like they are home. Mm -hmm. And that is what we are able to do with our, our platform. Well, to bring you back well, home, to make you feel like you are home. Like you are mm -hmm. with us, but you are in America, mm -hmm. you are in the UK, you are in Australia, mm -hmm. you are mm -hmm. everywhere, but you are like, mm -hmm. don't worry, you can't miss home. When you come to our page, you get, you get the best. <laughs> you, you, you've done so well for yourself and i just wanted to add to you know what you've just shared now that positioning is also very important yeah um after all is said and done you need to position yourself are you a person of value are you a person that people respect yeah. um you see a lot of these influencers that you know everybody has there's a grave too in influencing 
right you know there are brands who would put names on the table and say let's go for this person because we enjoy them in this sector so position yourself properly once again don't be the drama person you cannot get the right check with some brand when you are enveloped with certain kind of drama so saying so um you know i know that we've been here for a bit and you are at a party you might want to go back to the party um for young women like you dabasi you know how the because i don't want to go into a controversial issue going on right now however i know that there is a <laughs> i know this that um, you know, states, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 it's why I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to because you know that uh, I understand. So, but uh, the thing is, anyway, I, I don't want anybody to say we are bullying anybody. Yeah. But I wanted to have your opinion on that. But I also know it's a very sensitive topic because there's no way we are going to swing it that people won't. And I don't want to land on Insta Blog Ninja. So. <laughs> But the thing I want to say is for young women, right? I, you know, there's this thing about women supporting women. A lot of young women, um, they compete with people that they should learn from. A lot of, I see that happening all the time. A lot of young women judge older women. Um, what would you say to, to, to these young women? You know, because you've just started in the game, you've got the opportunity or privileges, and then all of a sudden, you know, you, I mean, I see that happening maybe on Twitter all the time not respecting the older generation. What would you say to this, you know, young women who um, do this online, who don't do the background check on the people before them? So um, what I'll say is that, honestly, you need to, you need to learn from people. The mistakes I made, I don't want the next person to make the same mistakes. The number of years it took me to understand that you have to charge for your value. To make me understand that you have to charge for your value. It took me years. Okay. I don't want you to make the same mistake if you are just coming to the industry. I would rather you ask questions. Yes, this person didn't answer me. I entered the DM, person didn't answer me. The person might be going through a lot. The person, the person lost a family member or the person is going through a personal illness. Or the person is in transit, airborne. Uh -huh. You can never uh -huh. tell what the person is going through. These uh -huh. days, scheduling doesn't even allow us to tell the truth because you might be somewhere, but your post is still ongoing. Nobody knows what is going on with you. So they might think maybe you're ignoring them. But what I would say, again, is invest in people. Nobody wants to give you that time when you're not giving them anything. And it's not like they're asking for it, but you just have to do the needful. You're a young person, you want to thrive in the business, you want to thrive in the industry. The knowledge I have, you can never buy for me. The experience I have, you can never buy for me. The mistakes that I've made, you can never buy for me. The lessons that I've learned, you can never buy for me. But what I can give you is an advice not to make the same mistakes I made. Uh -huh. It's simple. That is why the word mentee mentor is there. Who are your mentors? Not your role models. Your mentors are people that, you, that have time for you. That will invest in you, invest in your crafts. Tell you to come to their house. Or tell you to come to a place where you guys can meet. And they will ask you questions like, what was your profit for last year? What was your revenue? What was, who was your biggest client? Those are questions meaningful people who like you, who love your business would ask you. <laughs> So don't waste your time looking for role models that you cannot catch. I cannot mm. say Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey is my role model. I cannot catch Oprah Winfrey. I said if I'm in a space where I would know that I'll meet her one day, someday. Mm -hmm. She's only a role model because she also built in, in herself an industry in America mm -hmm. as a black mm -hmm. woman. Mm -hmm. That's something of honor. So what are you doing in your own space? We have, we have Oprah Winfrey in every one of us. We are not just seeing it. Mm. It has a part in every one of us. Mm. Cannot get. Mm -hmm. So I, I, my my I my response to you is <laughs> my response to you is that 
you need to learn sit with mm. people mm. see you see you see see for instance now look at what cool afola is in the nollywood industry you don't see him everywhere but it's creating impact he's opening doors for people and i'll share a story with you and nicola po is a movie Kula afola you produced there was a scriptwriter for it there was a musician for a songwriter or wherever for it the songwriter got the amvca just last month yes got an award for it now this songwriter has been has been doing music before Kula Fola, you know, got him on this project and he's a choir master in, in the in the celestial church of christ fold he has a song on YouTube that is now getting a lot of reviews. Since the award came in, he has been blowing left and right. BBC interviewing him. If Kent was not doing his job, Edwin Jobby, mm. Edwin Jobby was not doing his job. A cooler of a liar would not see him. And yes. if Kent did not, he would not be where he is. So what I'm saying yes. in essence yeah. is that you need to rub minds with the older folks yeah for me yes. i'm the person right from when i was a younger girl i don't i don't roll with my my peer mates my my what's that thing called english my hey, my, my peers. age mates my, age mates, <laughs> my peers yeah. not that i don't like them but i roll with people who are older than me yes Mm -hmm. I don't understand mm -hmm. you. Like yeah. you can learn. And you learn. learn faster from people. Mm -hmm. You learn faster because they've made those mistakes. They'll start talking to you like they're telling you stories, but they've made those mistakes. Mm -hmm. And what they're trying to tell you mm -hmm. in, in, in essence is that you shouldn't make such mistakes. Do you know how many such mistakes mistake. I've made? Mm. Structure was one of the mistakes because when I started this business, it was from passion. So I didn't know what was going on around me. I didn't have any idea. But then again, structure was one of the things that really affected me in this industry. Would you not come to the industry and I tell you, don't get somebody, don't get that, but I'm lying to you. Because from my own experience, it taught me that, or um, more back then, we didn't have people to tell us all these things, but now you have people that you can always, you know, talk to uh -huh. or reach out to. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or know somebody that uh -huh. knows them. You uh -huh. know, or attend and if you, for instance, now, um, people, people, you do not. Oh, the network. <laughs> if you have questions for, Hello? yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of musicians try to get done. Yes, I can hear you. The, the network. A lot of musicians try to get back it up. Mm. Attention. You understand? But mm -hmm. the network is um. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you, but the next one. Yeah, yeah, I can no, hear you now. Yeah. yeah, calling my number. That's yes, we're, we're going to round up soon. No. Uh, please con con conclude what you were saying. Oh, um, I see a couple of people sent me questions to my Sorry. WhatsApp. Yeah. So you need to um, for so tossing. Yeah. Sorry, I'm back. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I know that you've got to go tossing. Yeah. So I want to quickly just... ask you. Somebody sent in, Someone sent a question. Okay. And I want to quickly ask you, uh, because I know that I think your phone is buzzing up right now. And the person, the question the person asked on, on WhatsApp is, how did you feel, you know, when you made your first million? <laughs> oh, my God. When you I know, he just million. asked, he just sent me that on WhatsApp I mean, that I should I, ask I, you that as an influencer. It was, it, was, it, it was in dollars. It was in dollars. Mm. When I went to rejoin the mm -hmm. money. I, I took the money into the bank because I was standing, I was standing in the bank. So I entered the restroom in the mm -hmm. bank. Mm -hmm. And I, I could not speak my club, but I was looking at the money. And I had to spread the money because it was dollars. I had to take a picture of the money in the toilet of the bank. <laughs> and then I, I just came back from Dubai. So when I, that money landed in my account, it, I, it felt like, what? A minority dollar love is so sorrow for me. That was 2013, 2014, uh -huh. when I made uh -huh. my money in dollars, you know. Uh -huh. So, and why am I saying this? Of course, when you convert it, to, of course, it ran into millions. But then again, it felt like I felt I felt on top of the world. I ran into yeah. the the restroom of the of the bank. 
to take a picture. Because <laughs> it was all believable. You understand? And that's, and that's the yeah. power of what you have. Uh -huh. You know, there's something like, you know, I keep telling, what I'm saying, I'm saying all these things I'm saying is based on experience from the industry. Yeah. People try to imitate me. People try to copy me. People try to be like me. People try to take business. People try to ruin me. People would say all sorts of things. Well, yeah, we have today. But what I'm saying, I'm saying it from Australia because you need to know what you are doing. You can't uh -huh. copy the next person. If you like, try and be the next Olo Supergirl. By, like, I wish you all the best. And I welcome you to the industry. But then again, you have 10,000 of us to compete with in the industry. Because even we ourselves, yeah. we're also making sure that we stand firm in the industry. So, mm. in all of this that we are saying, I was, I was answering mm -hmm. my question then, my the answer then, you know, I was talking about um, mentors, like five people that we invest in you. See, yes. pay for mentorship. Pay. Pay. If it's 50K, pay. Pay for mentorship. Mm -hmm. Pay for mentorship. If you are trying to catch John Daz's attention, he's not responding to you. Not because he doesn't want to respond to you. Look at Davido now. Look at Tiwa. A lot of people are there, but they want to catch their attention. But you have to do something that would also make sure that they see you. Look at Fuki Akidele. Fuki has paved way for young people in the industry. Fuki has paved way for young people in the industry. A lot. A lot of them. I've mentioned people that for Lion too. A lot of them are doing so much. But you have to stand out. You have to do something that people would, people will see you. So don't just copy because you want to be in the fame, you want to be in the limelight. You want to be controversy, I wish you all the best. A lot of people that you can also get word from in the controversial industry, they are all there. But make sure that what you are doing, do it right by yourself, by your soul and your spirit. Don't do it because of the pressure on social media. People are faking it all. My cock parato you. People are faking it. Yes. You know, See, and I'm saying this here because Esther is my sister. People will borrow everything just to look good. But you, that you are living in your one bedroom, do you know that you are living a better life than these so called people you are chasing after? Yeah. Did they someone gonna, come to my house? Say that. Mm. Someone came to my house in a canteen then. I was living in a four bed duplex. I had my studio there, I had everything there, and I, had, I was living there also. Someone came into my house and I said, Tosin, this is, this is what you're paying for. I said, yes. Yeah. I said, wow. It did seem like key. I said, yes. Yeah. I said, wow. And I know some people that are squatting. The person said it. But then I they know some people pass. that are So what I'm saying is do everything in accordance. Do everything mm -hmm. in the way that you'll be comfortable with uh, yourself. Don't do uh, things because you want to be calm. Mm -hmm. You want to be long. Don't do it. That is why you put pressure on yourself. Please. Mm. When I was getting ready for AMVCA, I started planning since January this year. I started planning AMVCA this year in January. January. Motivation came back to Miami AMVCA. Yeah, I mean, you, you, I, I just wanted to chip in something, Tosin, before you go on. And it's what you just said, and it's about, you know, being yourself. Um, there are a lot of aspire to perspire people online, and I want to tell young folks out there listen, you got to do you. Don't go and borrow to look good, don't go and borrow to look the part. Um, I was discussing with someone the other day. I said, Listen, I would rather have a lot of money in my account than wear all the money on myself <laughs> because mm. I can invest my money, but then I want to do a one off appearance, and I'm looking like a million dollar because I borrowed something. While I don't have shishi in my account, who am I fooling? Because I am going back with my empty account <laughs> after the event, <laughs> you know. So, and, and that, that's another thing. I just wanted to add that to what you said, because I, I see a lot of pressure, especially when we have this event and they see big stars wearing clothes and they want to, like, girl, you don't know the story behind most of the things. You don't want to do it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Tosin, just before we add up, you know, listen, Tosin and I go way back, so you might want to wonder why this is it's interactive because this is history. And every time I'm 
I'm on that life or she's on my life. That's the energy you get. There is no hell of, you know, whoever is. No, we are here on the count of sisterhood. She has paid her dues. I love her. I respect her. Thank you, ma'am. And, you know, Thank just you so weeks before the, the diversity thing, she, we had a long four hours phone conversation that evolved into a whole lot. And then when I saw the Udabasi thing, I said, my God, this, this, this woman is a powerhouse, Thank you know. You. So I am, let me just say it here, that I'm very proud of you. Thank you, um, And your giant strides. Yeah. I know the story and I'm glad with the way you keep picking yourself up and evolving over the years. So guys, Tosin is also available to teach. So this is not just somebody talking based on Obi. She does this professionally as well. And this session is going to be available on my YouTube channel, Esther Ijaware 4, for those who want to watch. And of course, the session was brought to you by Stylist Piazza. But beyond that, Tosin is a force to reckon with. So she said a lot of things today. And if you want to learn from Tosin, you want to approach her, go into her DM. Respectfully, of course, um, nobody should mentor you out of compulsion. Let me just have that. Because accessibility is not availability. So please know that someone is accessible doesn't mean they've got to be available for your demand right so tossing um just to round up you know a few words for young people who have listened to you in the last one half what do you have to say to them especially in a very competitive industry such as the entertainment industry what would you say to them because i'm getting a lot of whatsapp messages of questions so people be are saying they are yourself. frustrated be yourself like mm -hmm. for all the interviews i've been you know um like I've been granting for years. One thing I keep saying, mm -hmm. and I think I've been saying for myself too, is mm -hmm. like you're advising people, you're also advising yourself. Be yourself. Yes. You cannot be the next person. You can never be me. I can never be Esther. I can only tap into your dream and your vision. Mm -hmm. But I can't be you. The power you mm -hmm. have alone can also break chains, mm -hmm. can also mm -hmm. open doors. So mm -hmm. you can imagine you not discovering yourself. You're only wasting the talent God has given you. The Bible said, you know, in the, New Old, in the New Testament, you know, the parable of the sower, where one was given five, the other was given three, one was mm -hmm. given one. The one that had mm -hmm. one went to do what? Dug the floor and buried it. Mm -hmm. The one that had five multiplied. The one that had mm -hmm. gifts multiplied. Mm -hmm. Now you mm -hmm. that you have ten, don't bury those gifts. Don't bury your gifts. And this comes with, I'm shy. I am not confident. I am not looking good. I am not looking well. I went to learn how to do makeup. I learned how to do video editing. I learned everything that, whatever I can do today, I learned. Some that I can do today is my gift. Let your gift pave way for you. <laughs> God has give, brought you to this world not to be a stick or an Iroko tree. Even Iroko tree has its own usefulness. So what about you? Mm. And the rock tree as it's, a palm tree has its usefulness. It gives you shade, mm -hmm. it gives you coconuts, it gives you palm kernel. That is what you can get from a, from a, from a palm tree. So who are you? Mm -hmm. That God mm -hmm. created in his own image, in his own likeness. Mm -hmm. And you are wasting away. You want to be like the next person. Why can't you be yourself? Find yourself. Ask God, ask yourself, what is your purpose on this earth? In case you don't know what your purpose is, go and read Purpose Driven Life. Go and read Gifted Hands by Ben Carson. Read Gifted Hands by Ben Carson. Go and read another book called Purpose Driven Life. If you don't understand your life again, go and read the Gospels. Go and read the New Testament of a Christian. Start from the book of John or Galatians. Or Go and read. Because if you don't invest in yourself, you will find you. One of the verses that keeps me going to date, and I found these verses when I was in my teenager, in my teenage years, is Job chapter eight, verse seven. That your that you know that your latter will be greater than your past. So you have to start small. I'm quoting scriptures not because I'm a pastor or anything. I'm quoting scriptures because it has always been my backing. Job eight, verse seven was what I started with. I didn't know anything. I was singing. I was in the choir. You know, and I was still in my, I was in my teenage years trying to find myself. I never liked to be idle when I was, when I was in my teenage years. I was in the church when I was waiting for my, uh, for the Riazas to start. I was reading the Bible and I pounced on Job 8 verse, verse 7. 
that what you did is still with me. Go and read it. Your latter will be greater than your past. You start small. Your beginnings, your small beginnings are what will count for you. So if anybody is saying, oh, I want to be like you, please don't be like me. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. Because the, you will find yourself when you are alone. If, you know, they will say it's Buara, Buara, it's yo. You know, go naked. Cry if you want to cry. Do whatever you want to do, but make sure that the, the Holy Spirit speaks to you. Pray that mm -hmm. you will hear from God, mm -hmm. not from man. Mm -hmm. What if what God gave you is in your what God gave you to bless your family and your generations to come is in your own hands? Hey, God, and you don't know that you have it. Mm -hmm. Don't be a wasteful mm. person. Mm. In the Old Testament, when Moses and the Israelites were roaming about in the, <laughs> in the wilderness, God asked him, Moses, what is in your hands? Moses mm. said he has a rod. God told Moses, strike that rod on the rock. And what came out from the rock? Water mm. came out from the rock. Mm. We all know the story of Moses. In case you don't know it, please go and read your Bible. And I'm sorry if you're not a Christian. I'm so sorry. But I have to say what I know. God asked Moses, what do you have in your hand? Moses had mm. a rod. Mm. And God instructed mm. him to strike the rod on the rock. Mm -hmm. What came out from the rock was water in the wilderness. Mm. Mm. The same rod parted the Red Sea that we all know mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. The same Red Sea. That's it. So um, my, my question back to you is, what do you have in your hands? Is it the baking you have in your hands? Is it the teaching that you know? Is it the painting? Painting paves way for people. Mm. Look, look at the Korodu boys. They mimic trailers. Look at them today. Mm. Netflix funds them. Mm -hmm. Amazon Prime funds them. Kula Folayo mm -hmm. has invested in them. Mm -hmm. Movie makers invest in the Korodu boys. Mm -hmm. Are they the only ones in Nigeria? No. Mm -hmm. The current... Uh, uh, American Idol, look at the Ugandans. Ugandans are, are, are representing Africa on top 10 mm -hmm. finalists. They mm -hmm. are young kids from Uganda, from, from East Africa. Mm -hmm. You the, the key to your success is in your hands. Mm -hmm. Like I said, all these things I have to learn. And I'm saying these things based on experience. You understand? Yeah. I went to school for to study accounting. Accounting Colombo just sorry table me. I'm not an accountant today. I'm not practicing. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not you know, talking down on the uh, on the job, but I'm just telling you what I have, what I own, but the gifts that I have is what is paving way for me in the industry that I know. Mm -hmm. Just two days ago, I was yeah. in the midst of billionaires. Just two days ago, in the midst of and if I jab off, <laughs> my mouth almost came down. I was in the midst of billionaires. Hey, I said God, I it's want grace, to make it. grace, and grace. I want to and, and I want to compliment something you said. Um, the power of grace. So everything Tosin has said now, I also want you to know there's a place of grace. And that place of grace is why you will see that some people who, of course, would come into the industry with you, they're just, they just blow. Now, that might be their season. And I'm sharing this because people push and push and they feel that nobody's seeing them or God is not listening. It's not as if God is not listening. Now, this is a dimension of spirituality we need to bring into, you know, the reality of life. Sometimes, when it's also not your timing, God needs you to put the work with consistency. So use consistency to draw in what you want. People might not clap, you know, for you at the initial stage, but with consistency, listen, you are building something, you are archiving your dream, you are knocking the door to tell God, I am here. I will keep doing my best, keep putting in the best. So don't give up if people don't clap for you. Don't give up if you're not getting the likes and the engagement. Know that that person you're looking at, they might be working in their own season. Your own season might be 2024 20, and it's waiting for you, right? You might even be here on this live session now and you refer back to this live session. And, ah, I remember when I watched this live session and Nori Supergirl was sharing and those powerful nuggets, I took it seriously and here I am. So I want to say, you know, identify your gift. Know that some things are seasonal in life. But don't, don't um, limit yourself because you're not getting the accolades. Uh, let me just quickly share my own story. When people say, oh, Tosi knows my story. And when people say that now, people don't know what you were doing from back in the days. Now you are the girl in Guardian newspaper, a journalist and all that. And I said, I, will, I have to dare to be different. 
I knew there was something God wanted me to do. I went for it. And, you know, I started writing from the Sun newspaper, now in the Guardian. And that's the power of consistency. Over time, I learned on the job. Now, it's now a part of me because I identify that it's a season. I tapped into that season that moment, and here we are. So sometimes there'll be, a, there'll be an opening for you. So, like, it might be this session now that you need to go and open that account after this one now. Tap into the season so that the grace of God can manifest for you. So, Tosin, thank you so much. The nugget you shared today, once again, this is going to be on my YouTube channel at Esther E. January 4. The show is Get Talking with Esther. Tosin has been here for over one hour. Listen, you need to watch this show um, again and share it with people who want to go into the influencing space. Thank you so much, Tosin. I know it's been, it's been a lot using your phone as... <laughs> you see what she's saying? Sacrifice of influencing. <laughs> she used her phone. <laughs> yes. So it's Tosin... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. God bless you.